So here we are. Uh, Drishti Prayog is now ready for uh, download. So in order to access uh, download Drishti Prayog, go to nci.org.au and from there go to scientific visualization, visualization services. So click visualization services and from there go down to Drishti Prayog and then click access Drishti Prayog. So here you'll see the uh, um, a video showing uh, how to use Drishti Prayog. This is one of the very early videos here. And then here you can download Drishti Prayog. So let's download Drishti Prayog. So let me start the download. And uh, I have also given a few data sets here. So let's download a few all of them. So another one. Here's another one. And then finally the screen saver. So I've got all of them lined up for downloading. Now here this is our kiosk here. So this is our kiosk in uh, in NCI in the NCI foyer. So these are getting downloaded. Yeah. Let's create a directory. So I'm creating a directory on the desktop itself. So uh, let me rename it as Drishti Prayog. Now this is where all my stuff is going to going to be. So Drishti Prayog here. Right now it is an empty directory. So let's unzip this Drishti Prayog.zip. So it contains the binary for Windows 7 and 8. So I can just copy that binary directory into the newly created directory on the desktop here. So it's done. So this now contains all the executables for Drishti Prayog. Let me go back up and here I'll create another another directory called um, for uh, for the data sets. So I'll say the Drishti Prayog projects and here this is where I'll put all my Drishti Prayog projects. So there's engine again just copy that here. Then this another one again just copy it over here. So double click that and unzip that in the Drishti Prayog projects directory. So we'll have five and uh, data sets and then four data sets and this is the screensaver data. So let me show you the contents of this uh, these directories. So let me just tell you what we have. So in the Drishti Prayog directory we have the bin directory which contains all the executables for Drishti Prayog and in the Drishti Prayog projects directory we have all the projects for Drishti Prayog. This is the screensaver directory. So Drishti screensaver is a specific, is a special name, and when this name is detected, Drishti Prayog will load the contents of this directory, which are currently images, but you can also put movies in there, and this will be uh, used for screensaver, uh, screensaver mode. So when your, uh, when Drishti Prayog detects inactivity for about say three or four minutes then it goes into the screensaver mode and in the screensaver mode it's basically showing all these images and movies and you can configure your screensaver uh, via 
via this configuration file dot conf so each of these directories contain a dot conf file which contains the configuration for your projects and so on so all these are here and now you are ready to run drishti prayog it's as simple so what you can do is you can either say run drishti prayog from here or you can just create a shortcut onto the desktop so so this is the desktop this is the directory we have and uh, you can double click this so remove these and uh, I can start Drishti Prayog here and at the start it will ask you which directory to use for the Drishti Prayog uh, projects or which directory contains your Drishti Prayog projects now in our case it is this directory here so just specify the name of this directory Drishti Prayog projects select this folder and then you are ready to run that's all so this is the start screen so you click on this splash screen and then you're ready to run the project This is the help, inbuilt help, but you can change it to suit your needs. Then you can cut it, drag, move. So all that is available in this help here. And then each of these projects can be tagged, so you get different tags. You can have engineering, biology, whatever you want. So you can tag your projects, and then you can um, go through different options here. These are different keyframes in in Drishti. and press escape to quit Drishti so when you press escape you can quit uh, Drishti Prayog sorry or you can hold this button for 5-10 seconds and it will quit uh, Drishti Prayog so if you are on a touch screen and you don't have access to keyboard and mouse then you press and hold down uh, DNCI button for 5-10 seconds and it will quit uh, and all that is configurable or press escape so that's how that's how easy it is to use Drishti Prayog so you can create a shortcut here and then you can run Drishti Prayog directly from you don't need this directory up all the time you can just run Drishti Prayog from the desktop so on so hope you enjoy using Drishti Prayog um, if you have any difficulties or any comments uh, please write to me um, let me give you my address so this is this is where you can contact me if you have any problems if you have any queries if you want to uh, know how to create Drishti Prayog projects from Drishti uh, I'm there to help uh, and enjoy using Drishti Prayog.